Hello, 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 everybody. I'm Clarice Myers coming to you live from not Richmond, but from Suffolk. And um, I want to say hello <laughs> instead of good morning because it's morning where I am. It might be afternoon where you are, or it could even be evening. So I just want to say hello to you all, and I thank you for joining me. Every morning, Roland and I come and share a nugget or two just with our audience, something that can, uh, a nugget that can help you in your personal life, in your business, or just all around. And you know, uh, sometimes when we get so busy, you know, we think, oh, you know what, I could do this thing while I'm doing this thing, and we think, oh yeah, I'm gonna multitask. And you know, I was trying to do that the other day. And so I said, let's look into multitasking. My daughter, the younger generation, they think, you know, it's, it's a great thing to multitask them. And depending on what it is that you're doing, it could be good, but based on the research that they've done, by the way, I'm speaking to spiritual entrepreneurs, people who uh, they, they know they're here for a purpose, people who want to be better, they want to do more, be more, have more. And so uh, as I'm on my journey to become the, uh, the best me possible, I'm looking at different things that can help me. And as I'm learning, I, I share with others. So I was looking up um, multitasking and, and the benefits of it. And from everything that I've been reading, they say that when we think we're multitasking, actually the brain can only focus on one thing at a time. So as you're doing this thing and that thing, it switches. The brain switches to focus on this thing and then when you do something else, it focus to do that. So, And the chances are, studies have shown that whatever it is that you've been doing, you're not doing it to the best of your ability because your brain is distracted. This is what the studies have shown. I was listening to a gentleman named um, Dave Crenshaw and he invited the audience to do an experiment, a little exercise with him to see, to prove the point that your brain can only focus on one thing at a time and the effects of multitasking is not what you think. So he's, he basically said, uh, get a sheet of paper, you know, I have four lines. On line one, you need to write the words, um, he called it switch, switch tasking because your brain is switching. Switch tasking is a thief. He says, write that on the first line. On the second line, write the numbers one through 21. Okay, so he says, don't start until I say go. So he had a timer. So he start the timer, go. So you, you have to write, switch tasking is a thief. On the second line, the numbers one through 21. At the end of 30 seconds, he says, everyone probably should have been finished. He says, okay, now we're going to do the same thing again, but this time, um, he's still timing you. You're going to write the same phrase, switch tasking is a thief, and on the second line, write the numbers 1 through 21. But when you write S on line 3, you have to go down and write a number on line 4. So it's S on line 1. Down on line four, you write one. W on line three, two on line. So hey, your mind is switching back and forth, and when you time it, you find out sometimes it's double the time because your mind is switching back and forth, and then you have to concentrate. It takes you more seconds to like, okay, where was I? You know, so doing that, you learn three things, okay? Switch tasking or multitasking uh, it takes more time, so it robs you of time. And, and if you're an entrepreneur or in business, you know, and productivity, because it takes you longer, and you know, time is money, right? Um, it also, uh, the quality of your work goes down, because when you go back and you look at the, the writing, maybe the, the penmanship is not as, as focused, or the letters are not formed properly, um, Maybe you're not staying on the line. It, it's, it's more sloppy. So especially if, you, if you're trying to, I know like for myself, being a school teacher, you know, sometimes we have so many things coming at us at once and, and we're like, okay, we're trying to monitor the kids. You have to check this thing and the office, you know, the, maybe the administrator needs this particular document. Or, and you, you, you have no choice but to multitask. But 
you know, there's supposed to be time in the day for everything. It's easier said than done. But studies, like I said, they've shown that it takes longer. Uh, your work, the quality goes down. And the third thing, it increases your stress levels. Oh my goodness. Yes, trying to get all those things done, especially when you're you're under the gun, you, ha you have a deadline, you're trying to do this, this, and that. So, you know, there are solutions. You know, you might have to get somebody to help you to do, maybe you do this thing, but there are solutions. And the concept or the idea of multitasking is supposed to be awesome. Uh, it has its... When you, can, when, when you have no choice, then maybe you have to do that. But if there is an alternative, go with the alternative route because it puts you under stress. It stresses your body and that produces, it has negative side effects. So as I learn something, I try to share with, with my audience. And um, if you can help, if you can help it, try to focus or concentrate on one thing at a time. That's the best, the best way to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you with the hearts and loves. So um, I'd like if, if what I've said, if it resonates with you, if, if you can identify with it, you know, do share it out. Somebody might be able to get the benefit of this. Also, um, I also try to bring something that I can share with you that will help you uh, in your, on your journey. And, you know, investment, the best place to invest is in yourself making you the better you. I have a, a link in the description that can help you if you want to become an entrepreneur, a great place to get started, which is $10. All right, so you can check that out too. I thank you for joining me. Um, every morning, Roland and I come and share a nugget or two. We're down here in the Suffolk area, and um, we should be back tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock in Richmond. All right, thank you again for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, and do tell me where you're tuning in from. I do like to know that. Hold on. A couple people have come on here and I do want to say hello. Well, good morning to you, Rufus. Good morning. It's been a long time. Thank you for joining. Oh, hi, sis. Hello. It's good to, for you to join me this morning. Uh, since it's Sabira, this is good productivity tip. Thank you. Uh, give Reese some love. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I didn't tell you. That's my uh, nickname. Some people call me Reese. My friends do. Uh, good morning, Sharita. Good morning, Minister Rosa J. Thank you for joining me. So again, thank you. If, if you're catching the replay, do t uh, type hashtag replay and share this out if you've gained any benefit from it. Enjoy your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.